All right, so the next feature that we are going to go over is going to be how to allow location of device in our application. So in our profile page up here, we have a rectangle that we are going to display the location of the device or the user of the device. Now we can take a look again at Bravo's documentations under Bravo tags list. Under the share locations, there is a allow location sharing. We can go ahead and see the documentations and we're gonna kind of follow this and see what we have to add into our Figma file and what tags we need to include. So the first thing that we need to do is require location. So depending on what app page that you want to use this feature in, you're gonna to have to add the require location at the top level of the page. So you can see right here on the user page, we have the require location here. And that is gonna be so that whenever someone, a user enters this page, it's gonna ask them if they are going to allow the app to use location services and in order to get the location of the device. So when they first enter this application and in this page, they will have a pop-up saying, do you allow location services? If they do not allow location services, their location will not pop up on the map. They do have to allow that service in order for the app to pull their location and display it on the map in this section. Next, we're gonna to have to add a Bravo tag to our rectangle here. So again, in within the container, you're gonna have a rectangle and the rectangle is gonna have a component with a web view and that's gonna show a map with the latitude and longitude of the device. So just to show you a little bit easier one, this URL right here or this Bravo tag is what we are going to name the rectangle that we want to show our device location on. Now it is gonna have device.latitude and device.longitude because we don't have a permanent set location for our device. The map is going to have to pull that information down whenever it loads. Now how do we get that latitude and longitude? That's what we're going to work on next and what we're going to have to do is create a new API collection. So we can go ahead and create a custom collection and you're going to copy this URL right here, this HTTP bin, and it is going to get the device latitude and longitude. And once you have this set up, make sure it's working. So again, having that information checked off and that's all you need to do in this section here. Now, if you did want to display the latitude or longitude in your app somewhere, you can go ahead and select where you wanted to display it and you can display the information. But all we needed to do was make sure that when the user enables the application to get their location, it triggers the request so it will re-trigger this request here and give the device latitude and longitude. And once that is collected by our application, then this tag right here, this web view, is going to show the current location of the user's device. And that's how simple it is to add device location and user location to your application. You just need to add those Bravo tags in the correct spots and make sure you have a, a get request that is gonna get the device latitude and longitude for the application to use. Next, we're gonna go over push notifications, how to enable them, and how you can use a app called OneSignal to push out notifications to all your app users.